You're watching the Daily Decrypt, where if it ain't currency competition, we don't want it. I am your host, Amanda B. Johnson, and today's episode is brought to you by Crypto Compare. The 3.0 Lite client of Supernet has been released just today, and to find out what that means and what the Supernet does in general, I've spoken with Tobias Schwartz, who's a core team member. What is your involvement with Supernet? Um, yeah, I've been there from right from the start. Um, I've been hanging around to the NXT forum um, when it started already. So I'm not one of the um, initial investors of NXT, but I found the community very early. Um, so I don't know how much you know about James and the initiative of Supernet. Um, is that James as in JL777? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, I don't know that much about him, no. Okay, um, yeah, he he was there at, at the start of NXT and he had a lot of ideas how to bring the blockchain forward and so he had many theories. And when, when is this that we're talking about? When was the start of NXT? Um, yeah, two years ago more or less, and so in March 2014, um, I found Next and um, James has already been involved a little bit into the community and the NXT forum started. So um, this was when a lot of uh, ideas around NXT started spin spinning around and he tried to adopt a lot of those ideas like um, distributed exchanges and then pack those exchanges to, to other currencies like Bitcoin and, and trying, trying to find solution. He's still doing that, um, working on instant DEX and working on um, several technologies um, that he wants to go with decentralized um, applications forward with a supernet. Okay, so what is what is a supernet? Because you're talking to me about NXT, and I know mm -hmm. what NXT is. NXT is a cryptocurrency that lives on a blockchain. What the yeah. hell is supernet? Why why do they always seem to be talked about in the same context? Yeah, maybe because um, supernet started out of NXT. So the initial idea was um, to, to have like NXT on, sitting on top of it and then other cryptocurrencies um, tagging them to, to, to the NXT software. Um, this was the initial idea. Well, um, James hadn't been always satisfied with the development of NXT. So there was kind of a split and inter uh, Supernet is now um, trying, trying to get all those different ideas and unique as aspects of blockchain um, software together and try to yeah, make them, you know, you use Dash when you want to, to have um, private payments. Maybe you want to use Litecoin just, just for the fun of it or Dogecoin and um, maybe VPN coin. If you, if you have um, special requests for coins, the idea is to just use this coin. They have the technology. You don't have to invent it or, or place it on top. Maybe we can try to fit it all together into, into one wheel so you okay. can easier use them. So is Supernet a blockchain network first let me ask that um not really it, it really it uses the other blockchain technologies and tries to combine them all together so it's more on top of, of all the blockchains to to combine them and power. okay so supernet is like a peer-to-peer -peer, like protocol though mm -hmm. however okay okay so supernet is a peer-to-peer -peer protocol and it, I, and I've seen the interface. I've I've had it um, open on my computer myself, and so it supports this peer-to-peer -peer protocol. Supports what calling up various coins, like as you said, like uh, Litecoin, Dogecoin. Uh, there was an addition of Dash in today's version. Is that correct? Are the, what are yeah, the coins? Yeah, not, not exactly. So um, there is a difference between the, loop, the Supernet Lite client, which I'm um, working on and uh, we released today and the Supernet initiative itself. So Supernet is more or less, more or less, um, less developing into something that's called Iguana. That's um, their release uh, focus for the software. And I'm developing, uh, developing the um, Supernet Lite client. So this is mostly using the NXT network in order to um, let you um, exchange assets on the decentralized asset exchange. And there is another software called Multi Gateway, where you send in the Bitcoin. You um, this checks okay, everything is correct. Then it sends the same amount of NXT assets, Super Bitcoin, that's called. And then you can start trading the Super Bitcoin into the NXT network in a decentralized way. Um, so it's more or less well with Bitcoin, you can just do send payments 
mostly. Um, so it's trying to, to make it easier for you in the end, and you don't have to worry about Bitcoin block times and the Bitcoin fees and if it's ever accepted into the network and this stuff. Okay. So so what would I use Supernet for precisely? You're saying it's to buy things via in, in the NXT asset exchange or or what why would I use Supernet exactly? Um well you do not have to download any blockchain right now. You just start up the program. You can use um, the NXT software totally. And as um, we are using the multi-gateway, you can send in Bitcoin and send out Bitcoin as you like. So um, if, if you want to store them there, you can send them to other Bitcoin addresses. That's totally fine. But you never have to deal with blockchain downloads. Uh, you're still using a decentralized approach and don't have a um, centralized wallet like on blockchain.info, who are doing a great job, yes, but, um, but um, we are trying to focus on the decentralization aspect you know of. So Supernet could act as a as a decentralized wallet. So who, where are all the nodes then? I mean, like who? So you're saying that whereas blockchain.info is like a centralized wallet for my bitcoins, you're saying that Supernet offers decentralized wallets. So is that are would my bitcoin information be hosted by all the people who are also running the Supernet client? Yeah, this is um, more like a two layers now. The first layer is the multi-gateway. This is a dis it's called a distributed multi-sig, multi-signature. Um, yeah, how do you distributed multi-signature um, host? So what they do, they have several servers set up, and they share all the keys, and they con cannot control it without ex having accepted from the other uh, from the other servers. Um, you send in your Bitcoin. They will share it between themselves, make sure that nobody gets access on them per se. Just if you have access to all of them, you could send out Bitcoin. Um, and then you get um, the NXT asset in exchange. And then you can start using the NXT asset like Bitcoin itself, more or less. Does this make sense? No, it, it doesn't. And OK, so, so if the point is to send in one's Bitcoin and to have that hosted in a decentralized way, why why the support for litecoin dogecoin dash bitcoin dark what's all that for if you want to use those <laughs> um you can you can use them so um, we're using the same technology for all of uh, all of those currencies well later in the point currently we are more or less a multi-wallet you could say and an easy access to the nxt wallet without the need to download the blockchain um furthermore it will later expand into um trying to get all the technologies itself into the wallet. So this is the later point. Currently, we are, we are very early in this technology, and uh, Supernet itself is developing rapidly. Um, yeah, this is a plan that you can that you can later, if you have PokéN coin, you can use PokéN tools. Or if you have StoreJCoin, you can use StoreJCoin tools. But um, that is not the case right now. It's more like a multi-wallet and the NXT wallet on top, um, all without downloads. So I think it's it's a good thing to have. Um, and what is y'all's profitability plan? How how could I make money by being a supernet node or by holding? There's a there's a supernet token, I believe, right? Is that uh, issued via NXT? Yeah, it has been. Okay. Now it's independent, more or less. Um, James has planned to to also make it an asset on Bitcoin. Um, um, I don't know if he's going to use Counterparty or how he's going to do it, but it initially started on, on the NXT blockchain. And it is tradable on the NXT blockchain and on Poloniex and some other exchanges. Mm -hmm. um, right now, the wallet itself is more or less proof of concept, made out of law for the community because you don't have to download the blockchain. Sometimes you want to access your funds quickly. Um, it doesn't generate any profit yet. Um, and it's not really made for that um, in this sense right now. Um, you can, we are connecting to NXT nodes, and NXT nodes can make fees in forging with their NXT, but that has nothing to do with um, the Supernet light wallet in the end. And and why would Supernet tokens have value? Are they set to pay dividends someday, or why would I want to hold a Supernet token? Yeah, they already do. Well, right now, Supernet is launching a lot of um, different projects. So there have been um, Pangea, which is a, a de decentralized poker software, there's been um, Core Media, which is which is a blog with, um, 
blogging on Supernet and NXT and crypto. And so there have been various assets launched already within Supernet. And if you hold Supernet, you'll get dividends in those assets um, that Supernet invests into or, or that are launched within Supernet. Um, there is Instantex, a decentralized exchange that will uh, make later money on on the fees and so on. I don't know um, the revenue model, but it is going to work with fees and with, um, I don't know, maybe some bonuses. Um, it will make profit and then you'll profit with holding Supernet or Instantex and all those several assets. When you have Supernet, the Supernet token, you'll have it all in one bag, so to say, all the projects that are going within Supernet. <laughs> hmm. I must say, I've found Supernet like the most difficult to understand project in the entire crypto sphere for as long as I've been around, which is about two and a half years now. Mm -hmm. I can understand this. I've been involved into it as well for a long time now, and I've seen the things launched, so it's easier for me to grasp it. Um, how you have to understand that more or less is um, that. It, it is a various projects. It's not one single project. Supernet, the idea of Supernet is unify all the cryptocurrencies out there. We don't have to um, be against each other and saying, ah, oh, no, Ethereum is bad because this and that, and Next is so much better, or Bitcoin is so much better because, no, let's use different technologies for different, different use cases, and let's try to make it all together. And so Supernet picks the unique projects and says, yeah, if, if you want to work together with us, we are trying to build some use cases for you and integrate it into Supernet. And then in the end, you should be able to use any approach you like for the project you have in mind, and instead of making all the research for yourself and finding the correct currency. So it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's trying you know, to combine the things. So at this point, or at any point in the, ro in the development roadmap, could I ever exchange my Litecoin for Dash using the Supernet in a way that is at all better or or less risky than using a centralized exchange? Where the, will there be any exchange capabilities using the Supernet? Because I remember at some point hearing Supernet referred to as as a like a like federated servers like hey like some people who are super invested into nxt they host some servers and some people who are super invested into like bitcoin dark they host some servers and all of these people are hosting some servers um to potentially what like facilitate some exchange among the supported cryptocurrencies that perhaps doesn't require as much trust as say using Cryptsy or Poloniex or something. I don't know. Or or was that totally a misunderstanding on my part? No, no, you're, you're on a good track there. Um, this is the project called Instant Dex. This is um, planned to to give exactly this so you can inter exchange coins directly. So yeah, you send in, um, oh well, you have a layer on top like an exchange and then you can say, I'm selling 100 Dodge and I want to have one Dash in exchange or whatever the prices are. So yes, this is this is totally planned for the future, and James is working on it for one and a half years now, making progress. But he's well split up into many projects, um, which is a lot of people don't like that it, that much that he's split up. What the hell does he think could be more useful right now than an actual decentralized exchange? Yeah, yeah, it is close to launch. I'm hearing hearing for half a year now. Um, a lot of well, it's not as easy as it sounds like. So um, he's trying to solve many problems to, to, to get to this point. And um, yeah, I'm always seeing all the change logs and what he's doing. And yeah, I have problems understanding it myself. I'm not working as deep into the protocol as he does. But um, he's making progress. And I hope myself that it, we can use it soon this year. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, if people want to follow updates on the Supernet's many prongs of products, where do you recommend they go? Slack is always the, Slack. the, the Supernet Slack. Um, yeah, you will have all the de developers there. James is nearly always online and answering questions himself. I will be there. Um, yeah, there's many of developers helping to support your project if you have any ideas or if you have just questions, just just. Okay, there. very good. Thanks for your time, Tobias. Thank you. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to say I, I very much appreciate your shows. Um, please continue going on. I very much like it. Oh, well, that's very nice. Thank you for the kind words. <laughs> yeah, thanks.
Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Today's episode is brought to you by CryptoCompare.com, which is a social hub to discuss all things cryptocurrency. You can create an account yourself to begin leaving questions of your own or asking questions about mining, exchanges, wallets, and even the social influence and expected price changes of all of the top cryptocurrencies. Complete with various guides and tutorials, it's all free for you at CryptoCompare.com. Well, folks, as the first decentralized exchange among multiple crypto networks has yet to be released or used anywhere, what do you use in the interim? Leave a review about an exchange that you find trustworthy in the comments below. Have a good day. Web and mobile wallets, which support multiple cryptocurrencies, make it easier to, say, try out a new coin, or just to keep balances of various currencies all in one place. The Daily Decrypt knows of four such wallets, and we'd like to give you a brief review of them now.